Good afternoon, folks, and uh, welcome to the Resource Center. Um, this is huge for admin um, to be able to understand what's happening in the Resource Center, what happens in the Resource Center, what our agents can use. Kristen's going to take you on a great tour today, uh, so feel free to stop her, ask questions, um, really kind of interact with her um, whenever you can, uh, because this is something I want to make sure you have a great working knowledge of. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Kristen, all yours. All right, thank you so much. All right, today we're going to take a tour of the BHHS resource. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, you can get to the BHHS resource uh, three different ways. Um, one, you can log in directly at bhhsresource.com. That's the hard way. Uh, the easy way is to just go ahead and click one of the two buttons on Town Central. We have it here on the main screen in Quick Links, uh, BHHS Resource. We also here have it here on the left-hand side in our resources. BHHS Resource IQ system is over here as well. These are single sign-ons for everyone in the company. So if you click one of them in Town Central, it's going to take you directly to BHHS Resource. Uh, no username and password is required. Makes life a lot easier. Um, I am already logged on for the sake of time. Um, and this is what BHHS resource looks like. Um, hopefully you all have had a chance to kind of interact in BHHS resource, but I do want to point out um, a couple of things that you may not be aware of and where some of the more important things like some of the helps and things like that are. Um, the first thing I want you to notice is at the very, very top of the uh, BHHS resource, they have a search bar. It really does search everything. Um, so if you have some, if you have someone looking for a very particular item, if you have somebody like, hey, I know that there is this uh, on Resource Center, it exists somewhere and you can't find it, you can go ahead and search by topic up here um, and you can put in anything. Um, maybe somebody comes and says, hey, I, you know, I need to know all the websites that uh, BHHS puts our listings on. We have it on Town Central for the local, um, but if you needed something like that for an agent, you could say something like global um, website, and it'll bring up all the things. Where's a list of websites that are global? It was in a discussion forum, um, and they will go ahead and have that answer for you. If you need something for something like luxury, um, so you can see that the topics come up. So there's lots of discussions that were in the chatter groups. Where are, where can I find the luxury collection specialist? Where's a listing presentation for luxury homes, luxury collection networking? It's all in here. Uh, maybe somebody is looking for the home selling proposal or the listing presentation. You could literally put home selling up here and it's going to say, you know, why can't I edit it? Where is it? And here's one that says a knowledge document on the home selling presentation and marketing proposal. So do use that search um, if you are trying to find anything in Resource Center. It really does work. And you will find a couple of different types of things that come up in that search. Again, discussions, um, which are part of the chatter groups. And I'm going to show you those in just a second. Um, these knowledge articles, which are literally just pages or knowledge articles that are available on Resource Center that have all the information and links on them. You'll also see users. Um, you may see a couple of other things like assets. So if you're looking at something like the marketing resource, it may have a link to marketing resource on there as well not just a knowledge article on it. Another thing to help you um, with Resource Center, oops, stop. Uh, we have a couple of other buttons that'll come in handy. One is the self-help. So if you click on self-help, it's actually gonna bring up all the topics that are in the knowledge article. Um, so it's gonna be the same thing that's up here in that search bar, except it's, it's just organized a little bit differently. You may be able to find something more specific in here. So how to, how to use the global search, how do I find company logos, where are my social media links, um, all sorts of fun stuff in here. Um, and that self-help does change based on the level of access you have in um, the resource center. So I'm a super admin in here, so I've got a, a little bit larger library. Um, as admins, you will have a slightly different set, um, which will also have some admin pieces in it. And of course, agents will have their own set of, of articles as well. So the self-help is based on what kind of role you have um, in BHHS resource. The other one I want to point out is this turquoise button down here in the right-hand corner. This is on every single page that you will find in the Resource Center, um, whether you're logged into Marketing Resource, IQ, whether you're deep into the system looking at an article, you'll always find this. This is the live chat um, for the customer success team. Um, these are actually live. They do change when the people are online. 
and it will actually show you whether they're online or not. Um, but then also this will be a place where you can ask a question uh, for the chat. I will say that for web support and marketing, we also use this. So if something is reported to web, web support as maybe not working, um, we might have something like a, a question like, hey, my email that I sent to my e-card didn't go out and we know that they hit send on it. Um, we usually contact the customer success team ourselves because they're the ones who can fix that kind of um, thing from BHHS resource. They're the people who are absolute experts on every single program in here. So if you can't find something for some reason, if something's not working on BHHS resource, if you just don't understand something, if you just need to ask a general question, that's what they're there for. They are product experts on this whole system um, and they're really, really wonderful to work with. So you'll just enter your first and last name, your company or ID. So you can just put town realty, it works just fine. Um, city and state of your office and then phone number, email, and how can we help you? So just, just give them a brief description on what you're looking for, something not working, whatever you need help with, you can click on this and use it, hit start chatting, and they will chat with you live. If for whatever reason they need more information or they can't figure something out right away, they'll take all this information that you already put in here um, and they will go ahead and just email you back when they have that answer and they are really responsive. They do make a ticket for it and they do have a ticket follow-up system. The other thing you can do is that notice the hours here. They're actually on Pacific time, so we get a great number of hours from them. Um, there's a phone number you can call at any time. You can also email directly to BHHS support at hsffranchise.com. The phone number, the email address, and this live chat all go to the same group of people. Um, so if you call, email, or of course just chat live, you'll get someone. This is an absolutely fabulous resource, especially if you're on a time crunch, somebody's standing in front of you and they need something right away, something's not working. Again, um, just go ahead and put it in with that customer success team. They'll be happy to help you out. So I wanted to point out those three things, that search, that self-help, um, and of course that live chat button. That is all, by the way, available as well under the support tab. Um, so here's your knowledge base which is basically what the search is based off of up top, um, but it's based on category here. And then if you click support and contact support here, it's gonna go to that basically that same place where it's gonna give you um, the hours, the email, and then of course you can go ahead and send them a um, an email as well on here. If you wanna use the live chat, you have to use the turquoise button over here in the right hand corner. Otherwise it's an email or phone call. All right, I'm gonna go back to my homepage here real quick. And let's just take a quick tour of the homepage and then I'll go through some of the, um, the things on the top bar as well. Um, we have up here, these are their version of our quick links. Uh, we have something called the IQ system. I have a class coming up for of IQ system for admins. I would really, really love to see a lot of you in there um, just because the IQ system has so much in it. This is for ideas, inspiration, networking ideas, marketing information, business planning, um, everything you can possibly think of to basically improve um, business or to just get ideas and inspiration uh, for real estate in general. It includes the social media content calendars, um, links to all sorts of education. Um, the IQ system is, is a huge piece to BHHS resource. Um, and, a, and a great place for you to explore. If you haven't had a chance to go in there yet, the first time you click on that button and you log in, it is gonna make you check a box that says, yes, you agree to the IQ system. You'll get a couple of emails, it's not a big deal, um, but that'll allow you to explore this whole system. Feel free to check the box and go into the IQ system and see what it has to offer in here. The next button over is the Learn Center 2.0. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that real quick. If you haven't had a chance to go into the Learn Center yet, the Learn Center has all of the webinars and training that's available in BHHS resource. Again, notice that turquoise button down here, and we also have self-help over here on the right-hand side and a search bar up here on the top. So if you're looking for training on a very specific topic, maybe you yourself wanna know something more um, about social media or the Learn Center itself, or you wanna know about some of the topics that are coming up, they're all available in here. Um, you'll notice that they have the most common um, webinars and broadcasts available. They have coaching programs that are available for the agents. Um, this is where you'll find a lot of information about um, some of the things like the 60 day startup they have available, training on the Sage CRM, popular content for agents. This actually changes as, um, as we go through. So something like this with the Katie Lance Consulting, she is a consultant that works with BHHS that does a lot of social media training. You'll see that kind of training available for the agents all the time. 
Um, there's also training on here for marketing. So if you need to know more about video cast by Social Boost, there's a training for it. Um, if you want to know more about marketing resource, there's a training for it. And notice that it has 17 contents. That means that if you click into here, that's actually gonna break it down into 17 different easy to use sections. If you only need to, um, additional training on maybe one little thing, like um, not sure how to make groups or not sure how to upload content on upload contacts, they've broken it down into individual working pieces for marketing resource. Um, you'll notice that they have training for just about everything that we offer. So a little bit on AdWords, a little bit on luxury collections, social media resource, training for referral and relocation, the Leadership Academy series. This is all coaching. Um, they also have uh, certifications and designations in here. Um, so things like um, the uh, E-certified is in here. They have a couple of new certifications and designations coming that are coming from the IQ system that we'll see here in a little bit. And then, excuse me, they also have guides. So these guides are actually attached to the training, um, but they do actually put them out here on that main page for you as well, just so that you have some self-help guides uh, to be able to go into, um, just to be able to read and to be able to learn more. Um, don't ignore this little hamburger menu up here in the upper left-hand corner. That's what we call these three little lines whenever you see them. If you click into this, it's actually going to show you all the training that you've completed. It's going to show you um, the different learning paths. So if you've taken a couple of classes, it may recommend other ones that are related. You can favorite some to come back later. Um, but here's the big one I want to show you here is that webinar calendar. If you click into the webinar calendar, it's actually going to take you to all the trainings that are scheduled right now. Um, and if you're logged in as you and not an agent in the resource center, you'll notice I'm logged in as me under K. Um, you can go ahead and click that register button at any time. If you click the register button, it's going to send you an email um, that you can go ahead and add that to your Outlook calendar as a reminder. Um, all of this training is available um, anytime. Some of these are live webinars. Some of them are going to be um, some of them are going to be pre-recorded that are in here. Um, some of them are for agents. Some of them are for agents and staff. Some of them are for management. Some of it is coaching. There are a tremendous number of training classes in here. Um, we're in the middle of January right now, but they actually already have a bunch of other calendars posted. Take a look at how much is available in February. Um, so I've registered for the Katie Lance one. You can see that it says it's not started, but it turned green. I'm going to be taking this class. Um, and again, you can go ahead and register for any of these if you want to know more information. Maybe here's again that video cast powered by Social Boost. This is replacing the video licious app the agents had access to. If you go ahead and click register on there, again, it's just going to tell you how many seats are still available, when it is, what it is. And if I click register, it has now sent me an email that said you're registered. And of course, I can get to it off of this calendar as well if I want to. So that is the Learn Center resource. Marketing resource, uh, another huge one. We actually have this as a separate class, just like the IQ system. Um, marketing resource is where you can send e-cards, you can build flyers. Um, this is where some of the digital advertising is located. Um, agents can now build AdWorks ads directly in here and send them over to AdWorks. Um, so instead of just having the um, AdWorks template. There's a standard template in there. You can actually customize it and use some different artwork and some different messages in here now. All of marketing resource um, is categorized into either marketing a property. So this is things like just listed, just sold e-cards, open house e-cards, uh, flyers, all sorts of fun stuff. Marketing yourself. So this is going to be anything from newsletters and just generic e-cards. Um, it can be recruiting, it can be generic information, um, it can be all sorts of fun stuff. Specialty marketing, so if anybody is doing any resort, luxury, military, seniors, LGBTQ is in here, diversity. Um, these are all those niche market specialty marketing that you can have access to. And again, for any commercial agents, we do have a commercial agent section. The one piece you won't see on your screen will be this marketing exchange. That's for super admins, but you will see this one called the mobile and desktop ads. And that's where you can design um, those mobile and desktop ads again that you can send over to AdWorks or you can run internally through a company in here called Chalk Digital as well. You'll notice on the marketing resource that we have um, all new stuff on the homepage. So it might be things like I've, we, they've just added these, which are marketing and brand campaigns. Um, these are trending videos. 
Um, here are those mobile and desktop ads. You can see how nice those look. Those are great for sending over to AdWorks. Um, very different than what we have in there now. And of course, any recent content that was made is going to be down here. So you can see we've, we've sent out a bunch of different e-cards from the marketing department in here. Um, so all of our uh, assets and all of our e-cards that we've sent out recently are all stored in here on the very bottom. Um, up at the very top, you do have a library. Um, you can also search for it right here. The master library is the master library for um, the BHHS. So if you're looking for a specific topic, like um, Valentine's Day is coming up. So we'll put in Valentine in the master library. And here are all the Valentine assets that we can send out. Um, there are social pieces. So if I want to download this for Instagram stories, if I want something that I can post on Facebook, we can do something like this. If I just want a square social image, I can put on Instagram, not in stories, we can send that. Um, here's an e-card that we can send out to all of our contacts. Um, different e-cards, lots of different designs. They update the designs every year, but they also leave the old ones in here as well. So the library just keeps growing and growing and growing. Let me go back to that home page real quick. Um, if anything has been done custom, it's going to be in the My Library section. Um, so in our case, uh, for marketing, I have all of our marketing minutes in here that we've designed. So this is all stuff that we've done internally that's in our system. So all those emails that go out to you guys and out to the company are all stored in here. So if um, an agent were to make something for uh, maybe a flyer for 123 Main Street and needed to get back to it, it's going to be in the My Library section versus the Master Library. So there's two different things here, a My Library and a Master Library. The library button up at the top basically does the same thing, it takes you right to either the master library, or the my library again. So that's where we have two different things. You can upload contacts in here and you can create groups. There's that help feature for you and notice that turquoise uh, chat box here. If you can't find something, you're not sure how it works, if something's not working right, go ahead and open that chat box and go ahead and chat with the customer success team. Uh, they'll be happy to help you live. Um, and that way, if something's not working or whatever, they can actually fix it from their end. We do now have drip campaigns available in uh, the e-card system. Uh, we hear this a lot, lots of requests for, hey, I just want you know to send out 12 holiday e-cards to all of my contacts. We can now do that through the drip campaigns. This was new that was added late last year. All right, the shop at BHHS, that's just a fancy word for, I can get to Express Docs from here. Um, do remember that the Express Docs, oops, not going to sign me in because I'm an admin here instead of an agent. Um, the Express Docs uh, that is here is different than the Express Docs that is on Town Central. So here I am on Town Central. I have Express Docs on here. It is the same company, uh, but there are a couple of differences, um, and a lot of it has to do with the templates that are available. Um, a lot of our custom content will have been loaded to the one that you can get to from uh, Town Central, but the biggest difference is agents who have the marketing credit in Express Docs, it does not show up if they order it from here, the shop at BHHS. It does if they log in from here, which is our local one. This is so, 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 so important to remember. Um, we've had agents go all the way through and be like, well, my credit's missing, and it's because they logged in from here, um, or Marketing Resource actually connects to this as well, to the Express Docs, and that's why. Um, if that ever happens for whatever reason, um, we can shoot an email over to marketing um, and, and help with that situation about, you know, maybe moving an asset or something like that. But just remember, that's the huge, huge, huge difference between the two of them. Um, we prefer always that you use the Express Docs out of Town Central. It has the much, it has the most information in it, but it also has any customized information in it, like those marketing credits um, that are coming from the company. Uh, social media resource. This is different than the tool we have called Paradigm. Social media resource at the national level um, is for things for risk media. So while the agents on the free side can get one post per week, our Paradigm system on our side on Town Central actually can post up to seven days a week on ours. Um, so it's a little bit different there. The content is different coming out of social media resource. Um, you are They're able to go ahead and connect their social media to it. Um, and it does post on their behalf. It has great articles that they can also use. Um, we generally use Paradigm versus Social Media Resource only because Social Media Resource, again, only posts once per week. Um, do have agents who are set up on both Social Media Resource to post that one per week um, and then also use Paradigm to post more often as well. 
Um, anytime you're looking for information on the luxury collection, it's right here. This is for the national level luxury collection. So it's going to have articles and knowledge base that pertains to the national level luxury collection. Um, we use this combined, of course, with our local program for our luxury collection specialist. Um, but the information in here is definitely accurate for all of our luxury collection specialists. And this is just in addition to everything that we offer locally. Buyer match, just another fancy word for buy side. Um, so the buy side system and buyer match on here are exactly the same. Um, the only difference is, is that our version of buy side right here, um, we actually have a few add-ons that the national level um, doesn't necessarily have. Uh, we actually have a larger account with buy side than what the national level does, uh, but you can actually get to it the same way. If I were to click on it, um, it would not take me to the right spot um, just because I'm an admin, but if an agent were to click on it, it would actually take them to their regular buy side dashboard. So they're one in the same. They just call it buyer match over here and buy side here, but it is the same product. And of course, Sage CRM. This is the client manager within BHHS resource. This came online um, early last year for doing client management. Um, we are not supporting this internally yet. They are still building it and still working on it. Um, one of the things that it does do um, that our system, um, it connects with some of this other stuff like marketing resource, but it is a lot more difficult to use than what we have right now. Um, so until they're finished and we're 100% up to date on that, we're not really pushing the Sage CRM. Um, if agents have questions on Sage CRM, it's probably easiest to go through that chat help um, in order to, to get those questions answered for the time being. Um, the other reason we push using the Town Central Client Manager is because it ties in with all of those site builder websites. Um, and also these contact and client lists also tie in with the tools that are specific to us, not necessarily BHHS resource. Um, so that's the kind of the difference in between the two of those right now. So if anybody's looking for client client management, um, I know that we've offered a couple of classes on client management with Reliance already um, during the training blitz. Do encourage them to use the one on Town Central for client management, not necessarily Sage CRM. And if that changes in the future, uh, we will let everyone know. All right, I just want to show you a couple of extra things that are available on this home screen here. The list to the Learn Center webinar calendar, here it is in another place. You'll find this um, pretty often throughout uh, the HHS resource. There's 10 different ways to get to the same spot. Um, so here's the Learn Center webinar again. Um, they have a couple of ads off to the side here that change. Um, but I wanted to show you these chatter groups. So these are networking groups. You can also get to them up here. Um, under chatter, it'll take you to the same place. These are networking groups that um, anybody in the company can join if they're interested in that particular niche market. Um, I know we have a number of agents in here who belong to the military and veteran networking. Um, this is for agents to network it with each other about um, military and veteran marketing, about things going on in the, in the military and veteran area. Um, I know there was a discussion recently about changes in the VA uh, financing that were in there. Um, so it's really interesting. Um, and we basically just have niche markets for just about everything. So here's uh, people who are in the luxury collection, um, any kind of recruiting, equestrian, ask the community. Um, there's one for IQ network influencers, for people who are using the IQ system, if they want to get more inspiration or ideas, or they have other questions for people who are also using that system, it's available in here. You'll also notice a lot of these global markets. Um, so this is actually, this is a global website for all of BHHS. So you will find all of the global markets in here as well. Um, you'll find things for new homes, um, tech, and of course our Rethink Council for our agents who belong to the Rethink Council as well. So I encourage everybody to join the ones that um, matter to you. Um, if you would just like more information and to basically network with other people who are doing similar types of marketing, especially across the BHHS network. All right, let me go across the top here real quick now that we've covered the home page. So a lot of this is going to be the same. So we have our home page. Obviously, you can click this to get back to the screen at any time. Uh, chatter, exactly the same as the active groups down here uh, for joining. If you click that, it's going to take you to the exact same spot. Here's all those active groups again. Awards. So the awards on our end for admin is a little bit different than the awards on the side for the agents. When an agent will log in, 
they will actually see in between this section and this section an area for their awards. It's going to be a graph that shows them where they are as far as their national level awards are concerned. Um, this national level uh, section here is not in real time. It does depend on the upload that comes from the local companies and then verified up to the BHHS. So if an agent were to log in and say something like, oh my gosh, you know, I've, I've done eight million more than what they have on that screen. It might just be because it's in between reporting periods. It's totally okay. Um, so just so you know that that's there. Um, awards, however, does have things like awards criteria, like how much more do I have to reach in order to make it to Chairman Circle Platinum? Um, this is actually going to give you that that level that they need to reach and what what the awards criteria are that are available in here, and that's available to agents and to staff as well. Benefits and discounts. Um, this is great. Um, anybody can take advantage of this. So benefits and discounts, we get um, the benefit of being part of the Berkshire Hathaway network. Um, so there are a lot of Berkshire Hathaway umbrella um, discounts available in here. Um, we also have stuff available through HSF, so through home services. Um, any kind of discount that they have negotiated is available in here. Um, and it can be for anything from uh, different preferred alliances. So these are all companies that they work with. Um, and then, of course, you get discounts on certain things. And I will tell you, I use the one in here for Hertz rental all the time because when I travel, that's who I usually use. Um, and it's like a 20% discount, which makes a big difference. So I use those as well. Um, but you can take a look through all of this list and see what else is available in here. So lots of different hotels, lots of different companies, um, different things like consulting. Um, a lot of her classes are free, but if you actually want to take a slightly more advanced um, track with her, there's a huge discount um, off what she normally charges uh, for doing social media training. And again, lots and lots of different things in here. And of course, you'll see that a lot of these names should be familiar to you. Um, and it's because we definitely use a lot of the preferred alliance vendors on our side um, on Town Central as well. All right. Company locator. Um, if you ever want to know if there's a company located in a specific area, a lot of times they might look something up before sending out a referral through the relocation department just to make sure there's something available in the middle of Iowa. Um, you can actually see what kind of company might service that. So this is a company locator. Events and training. We've already gone over training. Um, that's going to be the Learn Center link. <clears throat> but for network events, if anybody's like, how do I register for a convention? I don't remember where the portal is. It's under events and networking events, and here's the portal for the sales convention that's coming up in March. Uh, <clears throat> and for those agents who go to the summit conference, here's information on the summit conference as well. I will show you a little tab that a lot of people forget about, which is the past event. Um, I love this because if I need to look up something like, hey, I remember there was this vendor there at this booth and I really liked what they have and I don't remember their name. It's usually under the information from the past events or something like that. So. It is available in there if we need it. That support tab, again, it's just going to go to the exact same place we already were. There's that knowledge base that comes from the search and the self-help. And then, of course, that contact support, which is the same as this button and the information that's available under there. Um, I do want to show you topics. This is really similar, of course, to the knowledge base, but there's a couple of ones that I want to point out specifically um, just because we use them all the time. Um, I'm going to go to this marketing tab first under here. And you'll notice we have a lot of different um, groups of things. Brand usage. This is something like all of the um, brand requirements for advertising and signage and things like that. We cover all of that in marketing. You don't need to, um, to deal with that kind of brand usage. Um, but we do have interesting things like the global advertising, PR and communications, and of course that home selling and home finding system. It's just a fancy way to say it's a listing presentation. Um, under global advertising, um, this is these are places that the luxury, especially the luxury collection can go ahead and advertise. We have programs for these. I'm going to go back to marketing here real quick. PR and communications is going to go over different things like templates and what's the social media footprint of um, BHHS, um, things to do more PR. And there's that home selling, home finding. So if you needed that listing presentation um, or that home finding guide, this is a presentation specifically for buyers um, to take out. Um, they are all in here. The nice thing about this is that they come in lots and lots and lots and lots of different formats. 
So if an agent were to look for a PDF or a PowerPoint presentation that they could change, um, if they wanted to change the type, uh, a couple of our Norfolk agents are actually using the city urban one versus using um, the generic one, they can do that as well. You also have individual presentation pieces. So if somebody were to look for something very, very specific, like I am taking a luxury listing and I know that we advertise in China, where is it? Here's that individual listing presentation. And then here's that page on July. This information is all available loaded in here for everybody. And it basically gives you that elevator pitch about what July is and, um, and what it does. So all of that information is available in here in individual sheets. There's that global listing syndication again. Hey, I know that BHHS sends our listings elsewhere, you know, all around the world. Where does it go? So this is a sheet that shows you about the global listing syndication, of course, with links to the Wall Street Journal, Glo Mansion Global, Jawai, um, the Financial Times of London. This is all great things for agents to have in their in their listing presentation. And again, it gives you that elevator um, elevator pitch for being able to talk about it in your listing presentations. Everything that I'm showing you here in all of these areas can also be used on, on websites at any time. Um, so we, you can put some of this on information on the website and then be able to share that page up to social media um, just to show the value of the brand and show the value of the agent as well. All right, I'm going to go to topics. I am going to go to strength of the brand. Um, and this is where we get into some of the stuff that's really kind of important. One of the top things we get asked for when people go to a listing presentation, hey, where's that map that shows all the BHHSs? Here it is, the network member map. And in fact, you can search for it up here, map, and it's going to bring up this page. Um, this changes all the time. I believe the last time I pulled this up the other day when I taught this, it was actually updated um, on January 6th. Um, so I know that they update fairly often. Um, and it's going to just show you all the different locations and the coverage of BHHS, the number of agents, um, all of our uh, European, um, Asian markets, um, and it's gonna show you all of this. They do have to update this fairly often. I know we just got a, yet another big global member this week, so I'm sure that we'll see a new sheet probably come out next week on this. All right, let me go back real quick to the strength of the brand. So there's that network member map. And then this is something I really, really would love to point out. This is good to know. So this is less about listing presentations and more about what does this do in marketing resource? This is a lot of what we've covered today. Um, this is topics and sheets um, that are all about the stuff that's in marketing resource, just to know more about them. Um, these are great for um, handouts. They're great to just, you know, shoot some basic information to somebody. They're great um, starting topics for things like sales meetings and things like that. Um, and they just talk about the different components, essentially, of BHHS on a national level. So, for example, if an agent were looking for more information about AdWorks and how it works and what it does, if you put in there for the good to know, um, this is what it does. So it's an automated digital advertising program. Um, and here's the elevator pitch about it. Here's how it works. Um, and then again, here's all this information about how the whole thing works. And this helps just to, again, to develop that, those talking points for listing presentations and to just make sure that everybody is the most informed they can be about all of these different products and tools that are available in here. So let me show you one more here. I'm going to show you the uh, marketing resource one for good to know. And this is all about marketing resource. So it's going to say your one stop online location for marketing materials. Here's everything available in marketing resource. Here's what you can do in there. Um, here's some samples um, sheets. And this is everything that's available in here. Again, just for great knowledge. And this is what this tool does. I love this good to know section. Um, we actually use it to, to develop things for like content for marketing minutes and things like that. All right, let me go back to that. Uh, we're still on strength of the brand under topics here, under strength of the brand. Um, we have a couple of uh, more information in here. Again, we have that information on the Rethink Council, um, who we are, some more on boards and recognition, um, sales convention highlights, and then, of course, the leadership team within BHHS. Um, so that is the Resource Center tour in general. Um, and how we use it and how much information is under it. I highly encourage you, if you can, take the classes on the IQ system and again on marketing resource because we're going to go into that in depth um, a little bit more in those individual classes. So if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to take them. Um, just unmute yourself and, and let me know.
No questions? Okay. All right, then that concludes our Resource Center tour. Hopefully you learned something today. Um, again, if you